You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. We lift you up tonight. Worthy is the Lamb. La 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 no de de. Holy. <laughs> Whoo! Wow. Whoo! We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. But I'm on the rebesi araba commande. We love you, Lord. All about today. Wow. Hallelujah. Give us revelation tonight, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, how worthy, Lord. In your presence, Lord, in your presence, Lord. Yes, in your presence, Lord. Wow. the darkness when hope was restored? Where was despair when my God split the shore? Where was defeat when the Lord took a breath? When he stood there in power by the grave that he left? Nowhere, 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 nowhere is the fear when my King resurrects. Nowhere, 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 nowhere is the doubt when my King conquered death. Where was the darkness when hope was restored? Where was despair when my God split the shore? Where was defeat when the Lord took a breath? When he stood in the power by the grave that he left? Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere is the fear when my King resurrects. Nowhere, 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 nowhere is the doubt when my king conquered death. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere is the fear when my king resurrects. Nowhere, 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 nowhere is the doubt when my king conquered death. Where was the sorrow when dry bones arose? Where was the pain when the sick touched the road? Where was disgrace when the king laid to rest? The stronghold of sin by the grace he possessed. Nowhere, 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 nowhere is the fear when my King resurrects. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere is the doubt when my King conquered death. Nowhere, nowhere, nowhere is the fear when my King resurrects. Nowhere. Out when my king conquered death. 
I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see wall shaking, I hear doubt running, my God's on his way, yes he is coming, I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see wall shaking, I hear doubt running, my God's on his way, yes he is coming here, now here, now here in his presence my shame disappears, now here, now here, now here. I stand undefeated when Jesus is near, now here, now here, now here in his presence my shame disappears, now here, now here. Stand undefeated when Jesus is near. Now here, now here, now here in his presence my shame disappears. Now here, now here, I stand undefeated when Jesus is near. I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see wall shaking, I hear doubt running, my God's on his way, yes he is coming, I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see wall shaking, I hear doubt running, my God's on his way, yes he is coming, I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see wall shaking, I hear doubt running, my God's on his way, yes he is coming, now here, now here in his presence my shame disappears, now here, now here, I stand undefeated when Jesus is near. Now here, now here, now here in his presence my shame disappears. Now here, now here, I stand undefeated when Jesus is near. Yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, lift up your voice. Hallelujah. Yeah, la la la, do the bass on the repeat. Woo! Tonight we want to pray specifically for those who are in uh, the path of the adverse weather especially down on the Gulf Coast. One of our pastors, Steve Lance, that comes to Outpouring. I called him. I felt led to call him. The tornadoes had hit slide down Mississippi and down through that Gulf area, and they got hit in their church. But uh, just a tree limb hit. All the, the street signs and everything around the church have been ripped out of the ground, but not one touch to the church nor the church sign. Amen. It's a miracle what happened. So we want to keep them on in, in, in prayer tonight. We also want to keep our dear, dear friend, Apostle Tom Arnold, in prayer as his wife, Phyllis, has passed away. And so we need to really hold him up uh, in prayer. And her, the fact she's with glory, she's in glory. And, uh, but uh, she uh, passed. And uh, so I just think it's significant that we take tonight for a moment and intercede. Father, we pray tonight for Apostle Tom and the family. We pray for the church. And, in the ministry, and he's on his way to Cuba, Father. So, Lord God, we just pray that as the family assembles in a few weeks to celebrate her wonderful, most powerful, anointed life, Father, mighty woman of God, prophet, speaking the word. We lift up because it's our loss in heaven's gain, Father. Tonight, we pray for Apostle that you help him, Father, and spoke with him this morning. And, Lord, we lifted him up and, and holding him up. And, uh, Lord, uh, I just pray for Tom right now and uh, minister to him in this journey of life has shifted, Lord, and uh, as the absence of a great woman of God in his life. So we pray a hedge of protection and covering over him. Lord, he's lost one of his best intercessors, and Lord, we just lift him up 
and step, we step instead tonight. We stand in that, in that gap tonight and we lift him up as he's traveling to minister the gospel in Cuba and then come back and celebrate her death. So Father, right now, her life and celebrate, Father, uh, the great ministry that took place. Tonight we pray, Father, for all down through Slidell, Mississippi that, that was devastated by Katrina a few years ago and now hit by tornadoes and the storms that are all through the, uh, the Gulf Coast region right now. Uh, Lord, we do pray for uh, all areas where, this, where these waters are, are rising, that, Lord God, that your magnificent hand of protection be over your children, Lord, and your, we, we are thankful tonight that we're able to intercede and pray, and you hear our prayers. So, Father God, we just pray right now, Father, for the storms in people's lives. Father, you dropped that in my heart a while ago, that we need your reign, uh, a spiritual reign, to, to uh, stop the, the hurt and the pain in many people's lives, Father God. We just lift them up right now in the name of Jesus, our personal family members, maybe you are through storms in life, and Lord God, we know that you are the one who can calm the storm and walk on stormy waters, Father. So tonight, we just, uh, we just lift you up with, uh, with faith, our faith released. That, Lord God, you're going to send the rain, Father God, that soothing rain, your peaceful rain, that nurturing rain that will help them grow through these trying times, Father. As we give you glory in the church tonight and we celebrate the souls that's been saved last week and, and lives have been changed and we're moving forward, Lord God, uh, continually uh, planting and watering, Father God, so that you can bring increase. And by faith tonight, we call that to take place. We're calling every area of your gospel message to ex exper that people experience your presence. Let us constantly cultivate your presence in whatever we're doing, Lord God. We praise your holy name tonight. Somebody say amen in here right now. Come on, lift your hands and give God glory. Hallelujah. We glorify you tonight. Come on, let's worship for just a few moments. Come on, let's just worship a little further tonight. Yeah. Woo! Nowhere. Yeah. Woo! Now here. Come on. Now here. Now here in his presence, my shame disappears. Now here. Now here. Now here. I stand undefeated when Jesus is near. Now here. Now here. Now here. Now here. Now here. Now here in his presence, my shame disappears. Now here, now here, now here, I stand undefeated when Jesus is near. I see joy rising, I hear hope calling, wow. I see fear hiding, I hear chains falling, I see walls shaking. I hear doubt running. Yeah. My God's on his My way. God. Yes, he is coming. I see joy rising. I hear hope calling. Speak it. I see fear hiding. I hear chains falling. I see walls shaking. Ooh. I hear doubt running. My God's on his way. Yes, he is coming here. Yeah. Now here. Now here. Now here in his presence, my shame disappears. Now here, now here, I stand undefeated when Jesus is here. Hallelujah. I said, Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo! Isaiah 45 and 12, I opened up my morning uh, Facebook with this scripture. God dropped it in my heart this morning with all the eyes still on the heavens and the, and the uh, earthquakes and the volcanoes going now. Some blowing smoke rings, if you caught that. And uh, also uh, the, uh, of course, recent eclipse. Um, it just... Uh, Signs in the heavens and earth. The Bible says that. Now, you can split that three ways from Sunday. doesn't mean that things are going to happen immediately, but it does tell us that, to watch these things. And so Isaiah 45 and 12 came into my heart. In the NIV translation says, It is I who made the earth and created mankind on it. My own hand stretched out the heavens. He says, I marshaled the starry host. I like that. In other words, he marshaled the starry host. We don't worship the starry host. 
God marshaled them. He put them in place. We worship the creator, not the creation. He said, God's creation is evident in the nature around us, including the sky, the clouds, the sun, and the stars. That's NIV translation. So, Father, tonight we thank you that you're a creative God. We thank you, Lord, that we are at home because you have placed us here. We thank you, Lord God, that you've created the beautiful stars in heaven and earth. Father, you created things for us to watch. And look, the majesty of mountains, the, the vastness of seas, Father God, uh, uh, the, the, the low places and the high places of the earth, Father God. We thank you, Father, for the sun, the moon, and the stars, Father God. We thank you that at night we can lay our head back and look and wonder at your marvel and marvel at your wonderful creation. Lord God, if you can do those things, which you did, Father, you can do things in our life. Do creative things, Father God. Create opportunities in our life that we may, Father God, show others the love of God. Lord, we may be able to explain, Father God, through your scripture that nature just makes a proclamation that there is one God, a creative God. So tonight, Father God, I want to thank you Father God, that we got to witness in our United States of America, no matter what the sign may be, Lord, one thing we got to see was the majesty of our Father. We thank you, Father, that in seven years we've saw two eclipses, Father, and they've crossed, Father God. And we thank you, Lord God, that your hand of mercy and grace is still on this nation. But, Lord God, that we'll be a, wor be a, wor a, a, a word of warning that God's in control and he will move according to his plan, Father. And, Father, I feel very evident that America's very very instrumental in Father God these end times of however it breaks forth Father let us react godly Father forgive our nation's president as he's turned against Israel Father God I'm not talking about anything political I'm talking spiritual here but Father God forgive our nation Father that we have turned against the, uh, your children Father God your promised land that chosen piece of real estate that we are to bless Father God bless those who bless Israel and those who are cursed our curse and Father God we call the blessings right now now. We call back what they've released. Father God, if they don't want it, we'll take it. Send it this way to Terre Haute, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for the, the testimony of the prayers of the saints of God that through this eclipse and this new opening of this, uh, of this casino that there have been no homicides, Father God. That there has been peace, Father. And we thank you because I attribute to that to your prayer people, Father, people who are praying. We are warriors, Father God, tonight praying for our city and this real estate that's set under the total eclipse, Father God. So, Lord God, you got a word for Terre Haute. We're higher ground, Father. We claim that tonight. We claim it, Father God, as an end-time uh, clock bearer of, the, of, of Israel, Father God, becoming a nation. We stand on that anointing, and we claim our heritage tonight, Father God. Thank you, as Scripture says, you created this earth, and you put us on it, Father God. As and you slung all the starry hosts in the skies, Father, for us to look at you in wonderment. We thank you, Father. We thank you tonight. Help us now to identify opportunities in our life. Creative. You're still a creative God. Lord, you are moving people's lives. You are bringing us into people in our lives. Father God, situations are coming around us that we can be ministering into, Father God. We're thanking you now that you, as we speak tonight, are creating opportunities for this very night for us. Tomorrow on our job sites, Father, in our life, situations in life, let us always be looking for the opportunities to speak into someone's life, Father God, using the elements, Father, that's around us, even nature as an example. We give you glory tonight. As Lord, as your as the fury of, 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 of devastation is taking place as we speak, people are in the paths of storms. You can take storms and bring peace, Father God. You do it all through Scripture. So, Father, we thank you. We give God glory for Jesus, the water walker. He walks on stormy seas, Father, and we can be right there with him. Teach us to get our hands in your hand and trust you in the storms of life, Father. We give you glory tonight, and we praise you. Amen. Give him glory in this house tonight. Come on now, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 42 and 5 says, Thus God thus says the Lord God who created heaven's earth, he stretched them out. It's, the Bible says, Who spread out the earth and what comes from it. And this is what I want us to go keying in tonight on this creativity of our God we serve. He says, who gives breath to the people on it and spirit to those who walk in it. Father, we pray for breath of life tonight. Lord, your word tells us that you bring breath to those on this earth, your children tonight. We, we call forth, Father God, give breath to your people tonight. Father God, the, Father God, stir up our spirit, Father God, as we walk, Father God, in this earth, Father God. I thank you tonight. 
that you stretched out heaven, Father God, and this earth for us, Father God, and you will breathe your life into us. Father God, as I'm speaking tonight, give the rest, weary rest right now. Give the spiritual tested, Father. Give them faith tonight, right now, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, as we spoke even in leadership class last night, Lord, there's no burnout, there's freeze out. And Lord God, that's because we've disconnected from you. So Father God, I pray for those who have been disconnected because of anything in their lives, any situation, even ministry hazards, Father, that Lord God, you let them reconnect to the altar. Never let the fire burn out on the altars, Father, our altars. So tonight, God, Lord, give us a breath. Come on, somebody, just take a deep breath tonight. Let God breathe deep into your spirit tonight because God's not done with you or you'd be in heaven right now. So, Father, whatever the duty is, we're standing on watch tonight, Father. We are the gatekeepers and the door watchers. We are the fire watch. Come on, somebody. We are the fire watchers. Come on. Some of you military guys know what I'm talking about. You're on fire watch tonight. So, Father God, right now, let us be aware where your fire is moving and move to it, Father God, and let us fan your flame tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, breathe. Come on, let's worship for a moment, and let's just breathe. Let God's breathe into our life right now. You can shift gears if you want, and let's just let God breathe tonight. Let's flow. Remember that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Following and listening. Come on. Hallelujah. 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 There's a peace that outlasts darkness Hope that's in the blood There's a future grace that's mine today That Jesus Christ has won So I can face tomorrow That's exactly right Because tomorrow's in your hands all I need you will provide Just like you always have And I'm fighting a battle Hallelujah. You've already won No matter what comes my way I will overcome I don't know what you're doing But I know what you have done I'm fighting a battle You've already won It's a peace that outlasts darkness Hope that's in the blood There's a future grace that's mine today That Jesus Christ has won so I can face tomorrow. That's right. Because tomorrow's in your hands. All I need you will provide. Just <laughs> like you always yeah. have. Because I'm fighting a battle. You've already won. No matter what comes my way, I will overcome. I don't know what you're doing, but I know what you have done. I'm fighting a battle. You've already won. Jeremiah 32 and 17 says, All oh Lord God is you who have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outreached, outreached arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Come on, lift your hands right now. Come on. We're fighting a battle that he's already won. Somebody needs to release that. Come on. Jesse, let's sing that. Come on. That's a word. His outstretched hands right now. The Bible says his great power. Nothing is too hard for our God. Come on. Cause I'm fighting a battle. battle. It's not our battle, it's his, right? You've already won. No matter what comes my way, I will overcome. Don't know what you're doing. That's a good word. But I know what you have done. I'm fighting a battle. You've already won. <laughs> and I know how the story Go. Come 
Come on. We will be with you again. You're my Savior, my defense. Come on, there's a word there. No, no more fear. No more fear in, in life, life or, or death. death. Woo! Oh, I know how the story oh, ends. That's a word for somebody tonight. We, we will, will be with you again. again. You're my Savior, my defense. Hey! No more fear in life or death. No more fear in life or death. I'm going to pray tonight. I was just reminded of my recent contact with Pastor Arnold just this afternoon and early this morning about the passing of his wife. He said I was praying with her on Thursday uh, evening and uh, she uh, just and the nurse, and they're trying to comfort her and all. And she finally just got frustrated and said, listen, you're not hearing me. I'm not comfortable in this body anymore. And not comfortable. And so he just knew then. He just prayed for her and said, go on home, whatever the Lord tells you to do, I'm praying for God's will. Got home at 10 o'clock that night, 10, 14, she had passed. And he said, it bothered me because I thought she was in dur duress, but no, it wasn't that at all. She says, I'm just not comfortable in this body anymore. She was getting ready to step into glory. Let me tell you something. No matter what happens, God's in control tonight. Amen. And let me tell you, we fight. We wear ourselves out fighting things that we don't need to fight. We get aggravated at things we shouldn't be aggravated about. And we let people get in our way and cause us to get off track. God already take care of it. He's already taken care of it. We just need to flow, flow, remember? Flowing, amen? Things, listen to things outside the world, this worldly. We need to flow, hear God, and let God interrupt our day, amen? So, Father, your word tells us in Hebrews 1, 11 to 3, by faith we understand. <laughs> Lord God, I don't know, I don't understand at times, but your word says by faith is how we understand. We understand that the universe was created by the word of God so that what is seen was made out of things that are what visible, right? So, Father God, tonight, let us understand. We need more understanding tonight. If you can create everything around us, which you did, then you know what's taking place. Help us to understand that. Help us to know that we're vessels in the midst of your glory to be used by you. Help us understand. Would you just lift your heart up tonight? And if the Lord put a scripture in you, something you want to release uh, on that thought, on the creativity of God, or understanding what God has done in our lives, maybe a, a, a quick release of God's presence. Let's just do that. Go ahead, Joshua. And we're just going to open up for a moment, let the Holy Spirit move in our midst tonight. Maybe you have a scripture that pertains to that. God may have dropped something into your heart tonight. There's a mercy in the waiting. Man of for today. Wow. And when it's gone, I know wow. not. You are my oh, hope man. and stay. And when the sea is raging, Woo. your spirit is my help. He'll fix my eyes on Jesus Christ. I'll say that it is well. Come on. Oh, I'll say that it, it is, is done. Well. Because I'm fighting a battle. battle. Man, that's a word for us. You've already won. No matter what, what comes my way, way, I will overcome. You got a word. Don't know what you're doing. Bring a word if you have it. But I know what you have done I'm fighting a battle you've already won yes sir amen uh, my prayer is going to be based in Acts chapter 6 verse 3 therefore brethren seek out from among you seven men of good reputation full of the Holy Spirit and wisdom whom we may appoint over this business. 
Shorokun yala mator ya tapalam boroko shon donokur yala manda na paroto shotopa. Father, our hearts are burdened coming up with an election. And Father, you put it, it was so important that we have men full of the Holy Ghost with good reputation to wait on tables. How much more important it is to have men full of the Holy Ghost and good reputation to serve this nation right. on all levels of government. Yes. Father God, we pray for those that have been considering, maybe being urged by you, to move mm -hmm. in that direction, mm -hmm. that they would serve this country mm -hmm. and serve you in that role. <sighs> Father God, we pray that you would uh, encourage them that, and that you would direct them in that, and that you would give them favor in that. And Father, those that are against you, mm -hmm. those that hate you, Good work. Father God, we pray for them. They need Jesus. Yes, they do. Open their eyes to the glorious light of the gospel. And if they will not turn to you, Lord, mm -hmm. we pray that you would move them out of the way. Good work. Father God, graciousness be unto them as you have mercy be unto them as, they, as you have been mercy, merciful to us. But Lord, if they're going to stand in the way of your will, move them out. Father God, put it in the, in the body of Christ how important it is mm. to take this seriously. Mm -hmm. Not voting is not acceptable. Right. Father God, give us wisdom. Help us, Lord, to do the research. Give us the unction to go and do a vote because it makes a difference. We praise you and we thank you, Lord, because you put kingdoms up yes, right. and you put kingdoms down. You spoke to Nebuchadnezzar that way mm -hmm. and he had to acknowledge, oh, you're the great God, the mighty God. You put kingdoms up and you put kingdoms down. Father, we trust you with that. And we thank you that you uh, are our God and you can move in that way. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, good word, Nick. Thank you. We receive that tonight, Lord, and help us be vessels of change. Hallelujah. God can do this. Come on. God done it and he used a Cyrus. He can bring us a Cyrus if he has to. And uh, that the church folk begin to rise up. It's excellent, excellent word tonight good challenge done with the right heart and i thank god for you know men of wisdom to do that amen anyone else have a word to release for the next few moments psalm 66 make a joyful shout to god all the earth sing out the honor of his name make his praise glorious say to god how awesome are mm. your works through the greatness right. of your power, wow. your enemies shall submit themselves to you. Through the greatness of your power, your enemies shall submit themselves to you. All the earth shall worship and sing praises to you. They shall sing praises to your name. Wow. Come and see the works of God. Mm. He is awesome in his doing toward the sons of men. He turned the sea into dry land. They went through the river on foot. There we will rejoice in him. He rules by his power forever. His eyes observe the nations. Mm. Do not let the rebellious exalt themselves. Oh, bless our God, you peoples, and make the voice of his pra praise to be heard. Yeah. Who keeps our soul among the living and does not allow our feet to be moved. For you, O oh God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid afflictions mm. on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through the fire and through the water. But you brought us out to rich fulfillment. Mm. I will go into your house with burnt offerings. I will pay you my vows, which my lips have uttered. And my mouth has spoken when I was in trouble. I will offer you burnt sacrifices of fat animals with the sweet aroma of rams. I will offer bulls with goats. Come and hear yes. all you who fear God. Yes. And I will declare what he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and he was extolled with my tongue. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God, who has not turned away from my prayer, not nor his mercy from me. Lord, you have heard the prayer of your people for this country, for the leadership. Lord, 
And now, Lord, we pray you do not turn away from that, and you do, you do not shed your mercy from us, but you, Lord, will shine and rain down your mercy. Lord, I thank you for what you are doing in our hearts and in our country. Lord, I praise you that you did part the sea when there was no way. And, Lord, you will do it again. So, Lord, I thank you for what you are about to do. We come to your house expecting. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's give God glory tonight. Amen. Good word, good word. Thank you, Father. Um, this came to mind earlier today. I was driving the bus and I had three deers run in front of me. And it's um, Habakkuk 3, 17 through 19. Though the fig tree does not blossom and there is no fruit on the vines, though the yield of the olive fails and the field produce no food, though the flock is cut off from the fold and there are no cattle in the stalls, yet I will choose to rejoice in the Lord. I will choose to shout an exultation in the victorious God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, my source of courage, my invincible army. He has made my feet steady and sure like hinds feet. It makes me walk forward with spiritual confidence on my high places of challenge and responsibility. Our Heavenly Father, we thank yes. you. We thank yes. you that you are with us at all times. Yes. Lord, set our feet like hinds feet. Lord, when they're scared and running, they do not look down at their feet. They look straight ahead. Lord, let us look straight at you, Jesus that our focus is on you, wow. not a, anything around us, but on you, Lord. Wow. Lord, let us pant like the deer does to the water. When they're sick, they're walking along the water's edge, and they take the drink. Lord, let us hunger and thirst for your word, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God victory, Father, in, in that word tonight. Shato rebasson de rebika, tai. Joshua 21, 45. Not a word failed of any good thing which right. the Lord has spoken to the house of Israel. All came to pass. And in Proverbs 29, 18 says, where there is no revelation, the people cast off restraint, but happy is he who keeps the law. Father, I thank you that you have given us your word. Your word is established forever. Your word is life to us, is light in our path. Your word is our refuge, is our strength, is what we need to follow. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that we will begin to have such revelation of your word, that we will not have a doubt, not only about you, but what you have told us, what you have, you have promised us. Your word is established. You said it out of your mouth, and it will come to pass. And Father, I pray that we will put our faith. Yeah. We will put everything upon your word, and our path will be straight. Father, I thank you the promises you have given us through our fathers and through the generations be before us that to establish us and move us forward. And we pray, Father, that we will be strongly declare your Good. word for the generations that are coming, that they will hear your word, that they will receive your word, and they will walk on it. Father, I pray that we will be doers of your word. I pray we'll hear your word, wow. but we will do your word because that's what the blessings are. And that's what is what you have asked of us. I thank you for your word. I thank you for your word. That is the strength of my life in Jesus name. Amen. Come on, give him glory in this house right now. Amen. Woo, Jesus. I feel the Lord in here. He's theming it. Wow. He always does.
The Lord was speaking to me this morning over and over again, this Psalm 133. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the color of his robe. It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion, for there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life forevermore. Lord God, I thank you that you tell us how pleasant it is when we come together God, when we come together and share our prayers, Lord, when we agree in unity, Father, for what your word says, God, for, for how you lead us and how you guide us, Lord, I thank you that it is pleasant for us to love one another, to be strong together. Father, I pray that you will continue to unite us, Lord, with your word, and Lord, that you will continue to bless us as a people that serve you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Wow. Woo, Jesus. Job 42, 1, and then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. No purpose of the Lord's can be thwarted. We're singing that we're fighting the battle but the Lord has already won it. Right. Father God, I pray, Lord, that we will not put our energy into fighting battles that you have already won, Lord God, that we would get in your word and we would know what your purpose is for this kingdom and for us, Father God, that we will worship you through every trial and tribulation. We will worship you because we stand on your word. We are established because your word is established, Father God. No purpose of yours is going to be thwarted. We don't need to look at circumstances, Father God, because we're walking by faith, Father God. That's I right. thank you, Lord, that there's such peace, Father God, to know that not one purpose right. of yours will, will be thwarted. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Come on. We, we receive that tonight. Hallelujah. Fighting the battle, he's already won. Amen. Some call him Lieutenant Holler. I call him Deacon Holler. It's all the same. That's right. <laughs> uh, the word I, I have today is from uh, Jeremiah 1. And uh, this is re regarding his call. The word of the Lord came to me saying, Before I formed you, I knew you in the womb. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Alas, sovereign Lord, I said, I do not know how to speak. I'm too young. But the Lord said to me, do not say I am too young. You must go to everyone I send you to and say whatever I command you to. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord reached out his hand and touched his mouth and said, I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over the nations and kingdoms to uproot them and tear them down, to destroy and overthrow, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me. What do you see, Jeremiah? I said, I see the branch of an almond tree. I replied, the Lord said to me, you have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. Father, we just ask you, Lord God, let there be no fear amongst your people here to brandish the sword that you have placed in our mouth. Father, let that sword out, Lord, and wave it in multitudes of directions to tear down and uproot the kingdoms that have established themselves in our community, Father, that your presence and your kingdom may be the only one established here in this city and over our nation in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God glory for that. That's a word, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Some things are taking place. Uh, you feel the stirring in your, in your spirit. I believe that God's 
compelling us to be a louder messenger than ever before. I don't know how it's all going to paint out, but I can tell you something. And I'm not big on things that I'm about to tell you, but uh, last week Charles Walters had been telling me he's got a guy that blows glass. He's a glass blower professional. He said, I got something I want to send you. And so, okay, okay. Well, this box came in, super wrapped, took me like an hour to get it cut open. And it's a beautiful hand blown because uh, uh, he said, I know what you love. You love the fire. And so it's a beautiful rendition blown out of glass with colored, and it's like a big flame, like a vast. It sounds about that high. So I'll give you instructions how to put a thing under it so it won't break. And I'm thinking, where am I going to put this thing, you know? You know? So I purposely took it by my desk and set it over in an area that nobody gets around, not even the cleaners. It's just, it's obvious they don't clean around. But I put it over there. <laughs> so it's kind of sarcasm there. And I put it over there. I thought, it'll be fine there. So I, I go home, and uh, Monday morning, Alexis, she goes, she's, I, I'm very particular who goes in my office. I only let like three people in my office. Nobody gets in that office over there. And I always pick one cleaner that cleans my office, period. Lolita done it for years, Anna done it for years, and now uh, uh, Alexis, I, I assign who cleans my office. It's just what I do. I guard that atmosphere. So she, she sent me a text, and, and there was pictures. And she says, Pastor, this was the way it was when I came in. And I had two books about the lives of the prophets sitting on a counter there. They were strewn on the floor. And that's, that, that, uh, that uh, flame, hand-blown flame that I was guarding was laying on its side like it was released. And I thought, oh, my God, it's broken. How am I going to tell Charles this? And I, I haven't had it 24 hours. And, it's, and it was spread out. And I'm thinking, this is, okay, Lord, what are you showing me here? You know, so uh, he was just indicating to me about the fire. And, uh, and he took me back to outpouring, which we're not going back into that style, but God's moving us for a reason. And it was about the fire. And I was remembering what Scripture uh, told me. I want to read it to you. And I'll read it out of Amplified Translation. Uh, uh, it's Leviticus 6 and 12. You know it well. It says, the fire on the altar shall be kept, kept burning. It says, it shall not be allowed. Now listen to me. That's a mandate. It's a commandment. You cannot allow the fire to go out. And then it says this. It says, but the priest shall burn wood on it every morning. And he shall lay out the burnt offerings on it and offer up smoke and the fat part. In other words, sacrifices of, of prayer going up. Now, I said, okay, Lord, what does that mean? He said, get the hold of this. He says, that fire has to be kept. It's a commandment to me. And when he mentions priest, you, he re immediately referred to not just the past priest. But the Bible, he took me right into the New Testament where the Bible says every one of you are kings and priests. And he began to show me the significance of the fire on this altar. And that was laid out on the floor. On the floor. Been praying into that, right? I'm in my office while I go preparing for tonight. Just in this day. Just, uh, and a lot's been going on. I'm kind of excited because the uh, Fellowship of Christian Athletes has a big banquet. We're letting them do it here. They're all set up over in the gym tomorrow night if you've got tickets or whatever. But they're going to have a banquet to help them. And we've done that. Not because of Joe Sumner. I love Joe, but it was because of Brianna but, uh, of Simmons because she works there, and Bree's got a heart. And I just I told Luke, I said, we need to honor that anointing. Their young one's coming up. And so I'm excited about that, right? Generations, athletes, I'm hearing a great testimony. I'm in my office while I go, and uh, I'm just, just going away, and I'm studying, and all of a sudden I heard this boom. I go, what in the world was that? No wind, Karen wasn't, you know, body hit the doors, you know, I'm in there. And I look up, and on my bookshelf... There's, I keep my special books, revival books, and a book had fallen, and I don't know how, it come off of my bookshelf, it fell right on the floor, and it's the book of uh, Zusa Street, revival. Yeah. And I, I got bumped. I said, God, I'm not into all this stuff, you know, really, I'm not. Angel dust and all this stuff. I have seen angels, I see them a lot, but, but that fire flame on that floor, and then just before I walked in, the book on, on Azusa Street. Man, I'm telling you, God, that fire got to get back in our belly, folks. You know, and us as the leaders, and Nick brought a good word about the elders of the church. We need to be in the altars. We have to keep the fire going here. We have to keep it. And we can't get away from our Pentecostal roots. We can't get away from, if we're not, we're not, you know, and take, I don't mean this in bad ways, but our, our DNA, everybody's got their own DNA. You all parties, you got the head, the arm, the feet. So a lot of people get on denominations. I don't think that's bad at all. I think that we have to have different flavors in the body because we all look alike, and then we start smelling alike. I have no problem with that. 
But our DNA is Holy Ghost. And our DNA is we were birthed in the fire. And the Lord reminded me of that. With that, There's no way that could be on the floor. And Alexis says, Pastor, I didn't do it. There's no way that that could have fell over. Trust me. I put that in that corner to guard it. And then tonight, that Azusa Street book fell off my, and it's one, two, three, it's right here, it's eye level, that bookshelf is. That book's been there forever, trust me. And that thing come off and went into the floor tonight. Now, again, I'm not all this hocus pocus thing, but I'm telling you, I believe God gave me a sign. And I want to I wanna leave that with you as we're going to pray into this tonight. Guys, we are fire babies. We are, we are altar people. And people are assigned to pray in the altars. There's a reason for that, because we guard the altars. This is a precious holy place up here. And we need to understand that with all that we can do, we can't do anything, but God can. If he created everything, and that's been the theme tonight, he's fought the battle, he's what we're doing. Let's get in here and do, do some more neology and, and praise and, and get in his presence. This is his presence. That's all that is. And that's what flow means. And we're teaching that around the world. I had to put an acronym together. I left, released it to leadership last night. What flow really means. Nobody understands that. And that means let God interrupt you. Whether we have a program set, he may interrupt it. It throws a lot of people off, but we're not doing it. We're going this way. That's flowing in the spirit of God. It's not that you don't plan. It's not that you're prepared. We have to be studied. We have to be so that he can interrupt us. We know it's him. So, Father, tonight, at the end, I'm praying for the fire. Father, it's very evident that you, you theme this tonight, how powerful you are and how everything's in your hands. Even from the eclipse, Father God, we've had, in this last week, we've had eclipses. Father God, we've had, we've had uh, uh, volcanoes erupting, and they're even blowing circles, uh, smoke rings in the sky. Father God, we've had earthquakes in New York City, earthquakes, Father God, and they boast. Father God, it all took place on the fourth month. Father God, which is God's number for creation, and it was on the eighth day, 4-8, which is God's new beginnings. I believe you're beginning to do something on, on the nation of America. I believe, Father God, as Nick said, uh, Father, we need to stand up and, and, and be faithful in our faith and speak out truth. Father God, and tonight I'm praying for your fire, not just to be contained in here, that I watched that flame land on my floor and you showed me that it spread out. This thing is about to be combusted. It's about to take off uh, from here out through us. Father God, let us be the true pre uh, kings and priests tonight. Father God, let us uh, not be so godly minded that we're no earthly good. But Lord God, tonight our city is in dire straits for, as Nick said, godly leadership. We have a school system that is in dire straits, Father God. And we can't make any bones about it. Father, we're bringing it up to you tonight. Man can't fix this. You can, Lord. And Lord God, it's a mess. Father God, truly a mess. And so, Father God, I'm praying this is the education of our children. And I believe there's reasons why it's got to where it's at. And, Lord God, I'm not going to address that right now. I've talked to you, and, and that's enough. Father God, tonight there has to be a shaking and revealing must take place in the school corporation. Something has to break before our children, Father God, pay the price, Father God. I'm praying for bus drivers back in, Father. I'm praying for people to have a heart for our children, Lord God. And I'm praying, Lord, that this leadership is not going to get it out now. Get rid of it, Father God. We're not seeing advancing, Father. And, Lord God, we're better than this. If other uh, counties around us can do better in education, why can't Bigo County? Father, and it ain't about taxing people, Father God. Taxation with no representation, Father, cause people to throw tea over in the harbor. So, Father God, we don't want anarchy. We want the Holy Ghost power. Father, you move quickly. You can do this overnight. Lord, we pray, Father God, tonight that, Lord, the vision is not for quick fixes in economy, Father God. That, Lord God, it's not because of vices that's going to lift this city up, Father. There'll be a reckoning. There'll be a day when the harvest comes in because they've seeded into vices, Father. It's going to be a reckoning day. So, Father, we're praying now that you, pre you, that you prepare us as men and women of God to be the vo voices, Father, because somebody is going to have to speak into this harvest that's coming into our city. And, Father God... Protect our children, Lord. Protect our children, Lord. I pray for every children worker. I pray for every teen worker, Father. I pray for the, from the nursery dawn that, Lord God, we are seeding into these babies for a reason. So, God, help us, Father, tonight to be the voice for them. Let us be the, the parental voice, Father God, of reason and morality. Lord God, I pray tonight, Lord God, give us seven men, women of God, strong people that full of the Holy Ghost, Father, with wisdom, 
with your wisdom that comes through wisdom, comes through your word tonight. We're not distressed. We're not distraught. Father, we're not distraught tonight. We are encouraged. This city's already yours, Father. Help us usher in your presence in every service. I'm praying tonight that your glory hit this house every service. That God, no matter who's preaching, no matter who's singing, no matter what's going on, that we're running to these altars, Father God. That flame, Father God, the flame, the flame of revival, Father God, that shook a nation. Azusa, Father God, changed the nation. It birthed the world into the fire of God. Let it happen tonight. Let it happen right now. And God, forgive us when we don't, when we don't, hallelujah, maintain the fire. Father God, forgive us when we're personally not bringing that fire to our pews. We're not personally bringing that fire into the, into the sanctuary. Lord God, if, we're, if our fire is just an ember, forgive us when we don't run to the altar to let your breath blow on it. God, we must be ablaze in such a way with your presence that the city says something's going on there. Something's going on in those people. Brand us, Father, as you did the early church in the upper room. Father, brand us. We are marching to the days of ascension right now. Father God, we are, we are in the snap dab in almost the middle of the days of ascension. And Lord, there's going to be a Sunday. We're going to stand in here and celebrate Pentecost, Father. We're, we're, we're heading toward 50 days out. And Lord, I know what happened on Pentecost. That's when the church was birthed. Rebirth the church, Father. Restart the engine. Reignite the fire, Father God. We're moving. This, this is our hour to become the church that is influential outside the walls, outside the upper room. We're not in fear. We're in faith. And we pray, and we're expecting. Father, I'm expecting you to do these things. As Kathy said, the purposes of God will, will, be, will happen. There's no doubt about it. And, Lord God, we're standing on that encouragement tonight. God, let us speak more in tongues, Father. As Jude said, I pray often in the Holy Ghost. For to build up my holy faith. Let us never be ashamed, Father God, of who we are doctrinally, Lord. Let us be strong in our doctrine, strong in our faith, Father God, and experience, Father. People need to experience your presence. It's experience. They need to feel your God, our God. Let our teenagers be so on fire that they cause adults to bow their head and repent. I pray this, Father. Let the spirit of revival stay alive in here it's around the world they talk about us father but yet sometimes we're like the frog in the boiling water father god let us always be observant that you're in our midst we give you glory tonight give us a fresh breath god let us fill your fire in the name of jesus somebody say amen you feel that tonight i feel god in here i'm telling you right now now, I wish you don't go out and spread to God. The pastor's seeing things in his office and things like that. It don't do me any good. I'll get all kinds of phone calls. And I don't chase after those things at all. But I do know that when God's showing me something, and I felt like I, was, I wasn't going to share that until that book fell. And when that book fell, uh, I walked up here in this pulpit thinking, wow, God of wonder and God of might, you know, what are you saying to us? And I believe that's what he's telling us, the fire and to keep Azusa alive. We have a responsibility for that. Our kids deserve a move of God. We've experienced outpouring. Many of them are teenagers now. But in the next generation, the little wee ones, as uh, our apostles in Ireland say, the wee ones, uh, our children's church kids, our covenant coach kids, they deserve a move of God. We've had ours. We've, we've been through a couple of them, us old timers. This is powerful. They deserve a true move of God. Transformation in our lives. Amen. God bless you tonight. I'm excited to be ready for Sunday. And tomorrow night, keep the FCA, keep that banquet in your prayer. I think they got two or three hundred coming in here. And they're excited. They've got the, the, cafe, the, the uh, uh, gymnasium trans move. And I don't tell you, I was walking through there thinking, you know, I've seen this thing this way before. Single Moms Christmas, we've filled this thing up. Ministry abounds. That's what we do. We do it well. And so uh, keep that in prayer. I pray they raise more money than they've ever raised. Pastor Chris said something to, uh, yesterday. It's so cool. He said, you know, we had some uh, food bills come in that Sharon forgot to bring in. God bless her. And so uh, it put us in the, in the minus category on, on, the, on the outpouring, the money that came in. We didn't know it. It is. And we were like $4,000 on the, on the downside. We got it, but we, don't, we like it to come in and come out. And so Chris went in the administration office yesterday, and he told Dina and uh, 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 
Adrian, I'm, I don't like negative numbers, and he don't. He's a, and he says, we're not going to do I'm believing God's going to bring at him. We're not going to have to take it anywhere. Take, I just believe God's doing that. And, and, and yesterday, $2,000 came in out of nowhere already, and there's another 1000 on its way, so it's like $1,000 right now that we need that covered the food bill. That's what we're, we're covering. And so right now we're, I mean, that's faith. He released that in that, and them girls were going. He said, I told you, God will bring that in. And because he was raised that way, he knows God brings it in. So God covered it. We bless people, and, I, and we're believing for that last little bit. Uh, and uh, we're, that's just the way Pastor Chris's heart is. And we're going to get behind him and pray into that because it's building some other folks' faith in, in the finances. And that's a hard thing for church folk to get faith in his finances, Chelsea. But, but God's being faithful. And so God bless you tonight. Tell somebody about Jesus. Smile. My gosh, it's good for your face and good for the atmosphere around you. Amen.